Welcome to Dr. T's Cookbook of Awesomeness. Today, we are revisiting fried rice. That's right. Today, we are making pineapple fried rice, which is a Hawaiian delicacy. So, let's go make something awesome. All right, let's look at our list of ingredients. Starting off with our day-old leftover white rice. Then, of course, we have pineapple followed up by Spam, which is traditional, but you can use diced up ham instead. We have some chicken bouillon powder, or you can use MSG instead. And this is a little bit of sugar. Lastly, we have some crab paste, which is completely optional. Oh, and I totally forgot our soy sauce. I also forgot to mention the egg in our ingredients list, but let's get to that right now. We're just going to crack that into our non-stick skillet, and we're going to scramble it up. Now many folks think that you need to use a traditional wok to make fried rice, but I tell you what, a non-stick skillet is the way to go. It's the easiest way to make fried rice and make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan and get overly crispy. It's the ultimate in fried rice cookery right here. Okay, we've removed our egg and now we are ready to cook our rice. So I've just added a little more canola oil. I've turned that heat up to high, medium high, and now I'm just adding our rice. Try to get it in an even layer um, and kind of break up the rice particles so you don't have any big lumps to start off with. I added just a pinch of white pepper and now I'm just stirring things around, making sure that Every piece of rice kind of gets coated a little bit with that oil and we get that frying action started. After a minute or so of frying that rice, ready to add in our spam. Like I said, spam is kind of traditional in this pineapple fried rice. This kind of comes from Hawaii and is heavily influenced by um, the Hawaiian culture and there's kind of a long history of the spam there. Uh, but of course, you can use diced up ham instead. You alternatively could also throw in some shrimp. So you could have shrimp and spam and sh or just the shrimp. Um, again, up to you. So we're just going to toss that around there and give that a good fry. We're adding in our bouillon powder. It's chicken bouillon powder to give this a little bit of that uh, umami flavor. You can also substitute MSG for that. And we're using a tablespoon of sugar. So once that's in there, oh, forgot the crab paste. Again, crab paste, completely optional, but I like the little bit of extra Mm, je ne sais quoi that it gives it. So just go ahead and mix everything up and around. Just keep it moving, stirring it around, frying the, the rice, the spam, and getting all those spices um, incorporated evenly throughout the mixture. After a minute or two, our spam is going to start to crisp up a little bit. You'll see some brown spots forming. Then we can add in our pineapple. 
make sure to drain your pineapple well. We don't want too much extra moisture coming into this and making our rice soggy. But get it incorporated, keep mixing it around, keep it moving, make sure that our rice continues to get fried on all sides. Okay, now we can throw our egg back in here and again, mix it up thoroughly. And after a couple of more minutes, we're all done. Check it out. It's a uh, golden deliciousness here with the pineapple and that shrimp paste gives it a little bit of a darker hue than you might have otherwise had. But a few minutes with some, honestly, you can use leftover ingredients for the most part. And we've garnished it here with a little bit of fresh scallion to give it some extra color and a little bit of that Nice little oniony flavor, but this stuff is delicious and easy. And I don't know what else to say about this, folks. Um, just go out and try it. It's lots of fun. It's easy to make. Only takes a few minutes. And here I am shoving my face full of it. Proof that it is actually good and edible. Yep, another mouthful. And spam, um... Again, if you don't like Spam, use, you know, some diced up ham, but you know what? I like the Spam. It's got a little bit of a different texture. It's a little softer, but you can get it nice and crispy on the outside. It's a little salty, um, so you gotta be aware of that, but otherwise, I've had some fun playing around with that Spam uh, in the rice and in some other dishes. So, folks, you've made it to the end. I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button because I want you to be part of my cooking family. So hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna make sure that you really don't miss anything, hit that little bell icon so that you get notifications. But until next time, stay awesome.